Well, hey guys, I'm out here finally gonna get this video done. I've been wanting to do this video for you guys for like two years now, but everything's, everything's gotten in my way. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you the capabilities of the sync um, between the Pro and the S3100 module, but I also wanna show you how to deal with, when you have multiple transducers on your boat, how you deal with the noise generated on the screens to try to get rid of the stuff. So. So what we're gonna do, we are going to uh, turn off. Right now I have sync turned on. And so let's just do a little recording and I'll show you and you'll be able to see what it looks like with these things side by side. So, so let's uh, do that, oops. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little sunny out here. So I apologize for having the glasses on, but I uh, kind of needed it right now. So, all right, let me get turned around and uh, we'll run across this shoal again for you. Okay. All right. So if you look on these two side imaging screens, this this is the three-in-one HD all coming off the 3100 module. You see it's the FR, which is a fish reveal transducer. This is the three-in-one plugged directly into this pro unit. Okay. Now. What I have is that on this pro unit here, I have the, uh, sorry, the sink turned on. And so the yellow wire on the, the pro is connected to the blue wire on the S3100 module. If you look at the installation video I did on this unit, you'll see that's uh, how it's set up. So let me uh, turn the sink off. So the way to do that is come in here, hit pages, go to settings, right? scroll up here see where it says power control and so touch power control see I have ping sync turned on okay let me wait for this clown to go by all right I'm gonna turn ping sync off okay Whoops. in order to do that you have to turn power control back on I'm gonna save that all right so now let's go back over here and now we've got our screens, you notice it's got a little bit, a lot of noise here on that side imaging, see it? And it's all coming from the left side of that transducer. And that's coming because I turned the ping sync off. And again, we're running two different frequencies. Okay, so that's the frequency test. So on a fish reveal tr transducer running at 455, you're gonna see the, the noise here coming from the side that the other transducer's on, all right? So let me flip the fish reveal over to megahertz and let's see the effect of that, okay? okay. All right, we're still seeing the uh, same noise, a little bit different, but again, they're pretty close to the same frequencies. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the three-in-one unit and I'm gonna change the frequency to 455. Okay, let's see if that makes any difference. Ah, yes it does. See these, see the lines now? Actually, you could see the lines from the other transducer. So I have to go back and analyze this, but now I can see the line. I couldn't see these lines before on the HD transducer but I could see them on the three and one. But now that I've got them both running together, uh, at this, one is on uh, megahertz, the other one's on 455, I can see it pretty much on both of them. So, so let's flip this one back over to 455. So we're running both of them at 455 kilohertz, or kilohertz yeah. The difference is this is running chirp and this is running non-chirp, okay? And you can now see we're starting to pick up the chirped uh, dash lines. You can see the, the frequency chirps here. That's what all those are. And that's what we're seeing over here, so, okay? So, so pretty much, if you look at this, you're gonna have to run the higher frequency on one transducer and the, uh, 
Uh, let, let me go back. Let's, let's look at this. So we got this 455. So let's go back to the setup I'm going to run here. I'm going to flip over. Oops, sorry. Flip back to 800 kilohertz over here. We're 800 kilohertz back on the... Uh, the pro unit, which is a three-in-one transducer. Now I'm still seeing the fish revealed, but I don't see all these extra lines, okay? So what I'm, I am seeing though is it's pretty clear on the 800 three-in-one. So that's that's what that's one thing we want to we'll, we'll note. Uh, it doesn't seem to be with the fish reveal we can get rid of a lot of it. We got rid of most of the lines. We'll play with the surface clarity on it, see if that does anything. Not really. It did a little bit, but not a whole lot. If I turn surface clarity off, now it pops up pretty good. Let's turn on surface clarity high. So, all right. So it's still showing up. Again, it's only showing up on that left trans left side of the transducer, which is the same side as the other transducer. So let me go back and rechange that setting. Surface clarity back to medium. Okay. Uh, I know we can change sensitivity and color line. I just I don't want to really mess with that right now. So, so pretty much, if you don't have fish reveal, you can run low frequency on one, high frequency on the other, and you don't see it. But if you flip it, so the HD is running the high freak, and this is running the low freak, you do get the noise. So that's that's one thing to to, to remember. So. All right, so that's our side imaging component. Our down imaging should be very similar. So this, so we'll flip over to a down scan page. That's a down scan page. And you notice I have no, no noise. They're running roughly the same. I have no way to change the uh, 800 kilohertz on the uh, three and one, but I can change the uh, frequency over on the fish reveal or the uh, HD version. So let's look and see if we're running 700 right now. Let's see if we get any noise from switching it to 1.2 megahertz, okay? So we just changed that. You notice the color got a little darker. So let me, uh, let me roll back up on that. Um, I'm getting this noise. That noise is from the turn of the boat. That's normal. Uh, has nothing to do with running two different transducers here. So, so far I don't see really any effect with this, uh, with the down scan. Now, the reason is that most of the down scan is running on a very tight, ang tight cone angle. And if we would see any of the noise, it would be at this deeper region. Okay, um, so now we're coming back up on that little shoal. All right. So. All right. Okay, so it looks like down scan is minimally affected, which is good. After doing our tests before, what I'm noticing is that I do see some noise on the old three in one, but not on the HD on the down scan version. Okay. Uh, if you, uh, unfortunately, my tablet that was connected to the right unit is not no longer working. Uh, if you can move the camera over here. All right. As we moved out to 36 feet, you can see we got the trolling motor back in the water. See these lines here? This is what I used to see on the sonar when you put the trolling motor in the water you, and you left the console units powered on or are on or not in standby you see this type of same thing on the sonar screen now i'm seeing it on the down scan again if you want to get rid of that on your bow unit when you're fishing up on the bow put your units in standby very very important okay type of noise you get if you have the sink turned off okay so what i'm going to do is i, I right now i have the sink turned off and i'm going to turn it back on so 
keep, keep on the screen for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go, again, go to settings, scroll up to power control, hit ping sync, save it, okay? And now you'll see we still have that ping noise. If Will goes and pulls the trolling motor out of the water, we should see that noise go away. So the trolling motor is now out of the water. Okay, and you can see we've lost all that noise, okay? So again, we're getting interference from the trolling motor down scan on three and one, but we didn't seem to get it much at all on the, the, three, the HD. So he's putting it back in the water. All right, so, so that's where we're gonna end this uh, video up. Again, you can see that the sinking feature is very, very important. Uh, in fact, if you look at my shirt here, this is an old shirt from my days at uh, Digital Slash Complex uh, Sheila Packard. And this is basically, it's rather appropriate. I've got them linked together with the blue, blue wire. And uh, once I sync them up, I cleaned up my signal and basically it takes me to the future. Okay, so that's kind of cool. All right, appreciate it. Uh, if you got any questions, please hit hit up hit me up in the comments. Uh, I'll be glad to answer whatever questions you've got. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I, I really appreciate that. And check the links to see if there's any uh, Amazon associate links. And if you you know buying anything on Amazon, use one of my links, and you don't have to buy what I have on the links. But at least you, if you use my link and then buy something, it'll help help out the channel a lot. Appreciate that. All right, thanks. Bye. Done.